Today, I'm going to be showing you every single possible augment that you can get in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. Now, for those who do not know and have not seen my video on what augments are, you can watch that in the top right corner of the screen right now. But for a very brief rundown, these are basically things that you get at the start of the game and that you can get throughout the game, and you get them reset every single game. So it's effectively entirely random as to what you're getting every single game, but there are 22 possible augments that you can get. Now, today, I'm going to be covering all 22 of those, starting it off with the first one of more parkour. Now, this one will allow you to regenerate energy after mantling or hurdling. For those who do not know, mantling is when you go ahead and jump up near a surface and hold down your spacebar, and then you mantle up onto it. And hurdling is if you sprint into a wall that is a jumpable height, then you will instantly hurdle over that wall, and it's a new mechanic this season. So it's honestly pretty cool, and after doing that, you will regenerate energy. So this augment really won't affect you that much, but if you're doing any of these things, it will allow you to restore some energy, which is always very nice. The next one is First Assault. This one means that the first bullet in the magazine of your assault rifle deals bonus damage. Just as it sounds, it's really nice for getting into fights because you can go ahead and take that first shot and deal some extra damage. I'm not sure exactly how much more this is, but I would imagine that it's a decent bit considering this is one of the augments and these things tend to be typically powerful. For the next one, we have the Rifle Recycle, and this one is that weapons using medium ammo have a chance not to consume ammo. So it's really nice when you're kind of low on ammo, you didn't get a great drop. Now it means that it doesn't matter if you don't have that much AR ammo because you've got this augment that will allow you to basically just infinitely shoot your AR as long as you're getting decent bits of luck. Now the next one is Bloodhound. This one is for the aggressive players. Enemies hit by your marksman rifle or bow shots are marked for a brief duration. Now marksman rifles are things like the DMR like we saw last season and of course bow Bows are now back in Chapter 4, so these are your things like your primal bows and all that good stuff. I'm not going to list off every type of bow, but basically, this will allow you to just mark enemies. You can track exactly where they are. You'll get that little red marker over their heads. It's very convenient for hunting down players. The next one we have is the Jelly Angler. Now, once you get this augment, you will receive a fishing rod. It'll go straight into your inventory, and if your inventory is already full, it'll drop right next to you. Now, you can use this to then fish anywhere, like literally anywhere, but you can only fish jellyfish. So it's a little bit of a weird one because at the end of the day, now you're stuck only getting jellyfish, but jellyfish are also kind of nice because they restore 20 health or shields, and you can also use them on your squad mates. So it's honestly a pretty nice one that will guarantee you some nice heals. Now the next one is the bow specialist. This one allows you to draw and reload your bow faster, and you regenerate arrows over time. This one is really nice if you are a bow user because not only are your bows going to be doing more damage since you're getting out more shots, but you're also having infinite arrows. As long as you wait long enough, you will always be able to recharge ammunition. It's not like you need to go out searching for any more arrows. Instead, they will regenerate right into your inventory. Definitely very nice for those of you guys that love to use the bows. The next one is the Bush Warrior. Again, this one is really, really nice. We regenerate health and partial shields while inside large foliage. Now, large Large foliage will spawn literally anywhere across the map. It's those big bushes that we've seen in prior chapters. And this perk literally just means that if you hide in one of these bushes, you will not only get health back, but also shields. It's great if you're coming straight out of a fight. You can just kind of chill in a bush for a second, not have to waste any of your heals, and get all the way back up to full full. Now, the next augment is the Chug Gunner. This one is incredibly simple. You literally just get a Chug Cannon when you get the augment. So it's, it's a pretty simple concept here. You don't get anything else. It is just a Chug chug cannon it's not like you regenerate any energy or anything but at the end of the day a chug cannon is very nice to have after that we have the splash medic this one allows you to have a chance to find chug splashes in every container you open that's right if it's an ammo box or if it's a chest you will have an increased chance to get chug splashes from it which is honestly really good especially if you're playing in a squads duos or trios mode because that means that you can not only heal yourself but also your teammates so definitely really good if you're the medic of the party. The next one is the Demolitions Munitions. For this one, objects you destroy have a chance to drop explosives. Now, of course, this does exclude player-built structures. Basically, what that means is even if you build a wall and destroy it, that will not count as a destruction of a structure, and it will not drop an explosive item because that would be incredibly overpowered. You could just build a wall, break it, get a grenade, build a wall, then break it, get another grenade. Think of how many grenades you could have. So instead, you're going to need to break things like 
like trees or any of the naturally spawning walls. Nothing that you build will allow you to get explosives from it, but anything that naturally spawns on the Fortnite island, when you destroy it, you will get an explosive item, which is honestly really, really cool. The next one is supercharged. Vehicles you're inside do not consume fuel and have increased health. This one is one of the strongest augments that you can possibly get out of all 22 because you do not need to worry about gassing up your vehicles. Once you hop in a vehicle with this augment, you will no longer need to worry about gas. It's as if gas doesn't exist in the game and you'll literally just be able to drive around infinitely and of course have the added benefit of a little bit extra health on that car. Now for the next one, we have the Aerialist. Again, one of the strongest augments we have on this list. Gain the ability to deploy your glider. That's right. You can literally just cancel out fall damage. So a very nice augment right here that will just save you if you're ever falling from too high of a height. The next one is Light Fingers. Weapons using light ammo reload faster. Again, this augment is super powerful because if you're using something like an SMG, you're typically in very close quarters. So having a little bit of a faster reload time could be the difference between you living and dying when you're in a face-to-face -face fight with somebody. The next one is Mechanical Archer. This one means that you receive an explosive and shockwave bow. Just like the Chug Cannon one, this doesn't do anything for you for the rest of the match. It's literally just you get one of these things and then you're done. But hey, at the end of the day, an explosive and a shockwave bow are not bad at all to have in your inventory. Now, our next augment is Rushing Reload. Sprinting will reload your equipped shotgun. This is probably the best augment, and I'm not even lying here when I say that, just because of how powerful this is. If you're in a fight, you literally just need to sprint for half a second, and it will instantly give you all the bullets back in your shotgun. As long as you have more shotgun ammo in your inventory, you can literally infinitely fight somebody close range without ever having to actually reload the shotgun. All you need to do is tap the sprint key for even just a second, and those bullets will be back in your shotgun. I think they're going to nerf this one pretty quickly because in my eyes, it is really overpowered. The next one is Tactical Armory. This one literally just gives you a tactical AR and combat shotgun. Now, these are items that are not actually in the Chapter 4 loot pool, or at least I'm fairly sure about that. I haven't seen the entire Chapter 4 loot pool yet, but these things are exclusively obtained through this augment, and let's be legit here. They're pretty strong. I've always loved the Tactical AR. It's a very nice combination of an SMG, but also an AR, and then of course the Combat Shotgun is a classic. It was massively used at the Fortnite World Cup back in 2019. Obviously, it's seen a lot of nerf since then, but it still is a really good and viable shotgun. The next augment is Party Time. This one literally just says gain balloons over time. It's, I, I don't know, guys. You, you'll just be floating around the map. Probably just one of the more meme strat related augments. Not really as useful as something like reloading your shotgun, but it is something really fun. And hey, at the end of the day, maybe you'll get a balloon right as you're about to take some fall damage and it saves you from it. You never know. This augment could be really, really good. The next one is Pistol Amp. Pistols have greatly increased magazine size. Now, this one, again, is amazing because pistols are typically not going to be your long-range weapons. You're typically either going to be using these at a mid-range or a close-range fight, so having a few extra bullets in that clip might just be a difference maker when you're in a fight with somebody. The next one is Soaring Sprints. Jump much higher and with lower gravity while sprinting. This one is, again, one of my personal favorites. I think that this could be really useful, especially when running away from the zone, because now not only are you moving faster while you're sprinting, the second you jump into the air, you are also getting low gravity. Think about that. If you are about to fall from a height, all you need to do is sprint and jump for a second, and now you have lower gravity, so you're taking less fall damage. It's just a really good augment that kind of just helps you overall. The next one is Storm Mark. When the storm changes, ping the area to highlight nearby enemies for a short duration. This one is incredibly powerful, especially in a squads type game mode, because you you are able to get clusters of people and literally just mark them through any types of builds. You can see anybody, which is really, really cool. And you can choose an area to try and scout out every time the storm changes, which is absolutely amazing. So this one will be really good for getting some recon on where enemy players are. Just make sure to open up the map and ping the area that you want to search whenever the storm actually changes and you'll be able to scout out that area. For our penultimate, aka second to last augment, we have forecast and this one is literally just you can see the next storm circle an incredibly useful augment that will allow you to always stay one step ahead of the game and make sure that you're not falling behind on the storm zones and then our final augment is tricked out entering a car or truck applies chonkers and a cow catcher to it a very fun augment that allows you to literally just vibe around in any car that you find just by hopping into it now you've got an incredibly powerful
powerful vehicle that will really be doing some work for you with not only the cow catcher to break structures, but also the off-road tires to be able to go effectively anywhere. So these are all 22 of the augments in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1, how they work, everything to know about them. If you want a full breakdown on how they work in game, you can click on the video that I talked about in the beginning of the video. It'll probably be in the description down below as well. But for now, that's everything that you guys need to know about these. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton. I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one.